Pix Medic here, and I'm going to demonstrate today the high speed sync capability of the Yagnuo 622N triggers with my Yagnuo 568EX flash, which is on the camera, as well as the TTL abilities. Uh, off camera, I have an SP700 just to show that this will work not only with the Yagnuo triggers but also with. OEM. There's my 700. Uh, right now we have one 8,000th shutter speed. This obviously isn't going to produce a great picture because I'm not out in bright sunlight. You can also see that as I move the focal length in and out, both of the flashes will adjust for that. And that's the TTL metering. So here we go, I have something set up for some autofocus. I'm going to autofocus. And we have flash triggered on both flashes. And so there it is at one eight thousandths of a second. And the picture is not terrible, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, on the Yagnu flash as well, you can also see that as I adjust the f-stop, it adjusts with me, as well as the focal length, which is nice. So TTL functioning works very well on this. It will do the same thing on the SB700. Although it's hard to see because I don't have really good video capabilities on my point and shoot. But you guys get the idea. So one more time, one eight thousandths. If anybody's curious as to just how, if these will sink and fire at one eight thousandths of a second. There you go. The answer is yes. The 622N Yagno triggers with the 568EX flash and my SP700 will sink and fire at one eight thousandths of a second. I hope we all learned something there. Hope this has been useful. Um, I've been really happy with these triggers. I have a couple of the Yagnuo 568EX flashes and have been extremely happy with them. So if there's any doubt in buying them, if you just want the ability to have high speed sync, I don't use it very often. I just like having the ability to and these triggers were great even on my OEM flashes, so enjoy.